please follow my instagram at i am Jania sanders please read the description box down below if you want to accept the lord as your lord and savior and that you pass this on to whoever you think needs it pass it on to as many people as you can Father God, in the name of Jesus, I thank you and I praise you. First of all, I just want to say thank you for being so wonderful, so compassionate, so gracious, so kind. Thank you for being Jehovah Jireh, Jehovah Nisi, being Jehovah Shiloh. Thank you for being who you are. Lord, thank you for sending your son, Jesus, your only begotten son, who was a part of you to earth to die on the cross so that our sins may be forgiven and so that we get more and more chances thank you so much for your love because you are love now lord i'm asking you to please watch over us we are about to enter into the new year the 2022 season is about to wrap up it's about to end and we're going to enter into a new season this year, we've gone through tests, we've gone through trials and tribulations, we've gone through the good times, we've gone through the bad times, and we've also dealt with the ugly times. And the devil has attacked many of us, but we will say that no weapon that is formed against us will prosper. The devil's kingdom will be divided, it will be destroyed, and it will be damaged. And Lord, you get all the glory, the honor, and the praise, Lord. We magnify and bless your holy name. And the devil will not have his way. We will not give into the plans of the enemy the enemy hates us he is walking around earth looking to see who he's gonna devour and he loves to steal kill and destroy the bible talks about that but we know that you are a way maker a miracle worker a promise keeper and a light in the darkness because that is just who you are so lord continue to provide for us continue to just allow us to keep our eyes on you let us focus on christ and not the crisis let us focus on the cloud and not the crowd let us take heed on scriptures and not focus on the noise of the storm Storm, Lord. For those of the people who are watching this who have depression, Lord, just rearrange those letters. Don't let them have depression, but let them be able to press on. Instead of saying that you have depression, say, I pressed on. You press on towards the mark of the high calling, Lord. Um, Lord, we worship you and we adore you. We thank you and we praise you. We give you all the glory. We give you all the honor. We give you all the praise. We magnify and bless your holy name, God. And Lord, I'm praying for everyone who is fearful into going into a new year. If anyone thinks that their situation is going to get worse, if anybody's afraid that they might not have anybody to run to or talk to or a shoulder to lean on or just somebody to to just be able to just confide and lord let them know that you are always there you said in your word that you are our abba you are our father we can run to you you hold your arms open just for us to run to you and let more souls be saved let the believers continue to win more souls for you let us continue to enhance or advance the kingdom of god let us continue to do the kingdom work lord i pray for those people who have dealt with church hurt i pray for those people that have dealt with division i pray for those people who have dealt with other judgmental people lord i pray for the body of christ that we do not push away non-believers and that we do not push away certain christians that we do not push away backsliders we do not push away lukewarm people we do not push away let us continue to demonstrate the love of christ let more people get to know about you in the year of 2023 the devil loves to just have chaos and discord but he will not win he will not win but lord i pray i pray i pray that we are able to get through the storms and we are able to count it all joy help bless us in this next year lord help us be able to seek your face and get in that secret place help us get on our knees help us fall on our faces help us humble ourselves lord help us be able to lift both hands and be able to say you are lord you are king of kings lord of lords you are the one that makes the demons tremble and run away and help us when we go into this new year keep on if we already have it on and if we don't have it on help us put on the full armor of god help us put on the belts of truth the breastplate of righteousness the gospel of peace the shield of faith the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit which is the word of god so we will resist every single scheme of the devil and he will flee lord help us be able to 
be anointed and help us be able to anoint our houses help us anoint our bedrooms help us anoint our heads help us anoint our loved ones lord help cover us under the blood plead the blood over our path lord dispatch your angels and let your angels just be walking in each and every single room in our houses and let there be angels guarding our houses from the outside as well help us be able to travel safely wherever we are going help us be able to be protected if there's people who are planning on going on going to parties that are watching this i pray that they are going to be protected because the devil loves to do things to people especially around the nighttime, especially when people are drunk especially when people are in certain conditions i pray i pray i pray that there is more healing i pray that there's more faith because faith is faith without works is dead and faith does not work if it's just you know only you being involved in it because yes even though god you are a god who is full of faith we can't always expect you to make the first move we have to make the first move sometimes it's a two-way thing it's a teamwork type of thing it involves you and it involves me it involves us lord help us have more faith help us have more hope help us have love lord please help us have love faith hope and love are the three things that will remain lord and i pray that if anybody is dealing with anxiety anyone's dealing with suicidal thoughts anyone's dealing with depression anyone's dealing with things where they need somebody to talk to let them know that they have you to talk to especially if they're going into the new year with these specific issues or problems let them be able to find therapy help them be able to find somebody to talk to because these things aren't only just things that should be only just dismissed through prayer lord you gave us problem solving skills so help us be able to just be there for somebody and tell them that i love you and i want to help you the best way that i can lord help those who have lost loved ones and have had a very tough year help those who just lost really close ones and they don't know how 2022 is gonna 2023 is gonna be because they're fearful that they might lose more people i pray that they learn and they know that you are able to be near them you are able to comfort them because you are very near to those who are heartbroken and those who are crushed in spirit lord we know that you will always provide we may not know what you're doing right now but we will know what you're doing in the future you have great plans for us everything's going to work out for our good because you are intentional and just cleanse us from all this of unrighteousness lord i thank you and i praise you and lord we all touch and agree let those people that are watching this video be blessed and be touched lord let them be moved by the words that that you are speaking and you are saying through me lord holy spirit fill up the this atmosphere let lord just have your perfect and holy way lord move how you want to move speak how you want to speak be who you want to be we give you all the glory the honor and the praise and we bless and we magnify your holy and matchless name lord help more people just those who are dealing with um just any sadness or grief or just dealing with anything where um it just involves like and it is so and so shall it be and we believe it and we receive it in jesus name i pray we love and we adore you amen